Hey guys, my name is Aaron and I'm here today to show you on how to laser cut out uh, a silhouette item uh, that you can use for your cardboard devices um, or whatever you may be using for your laser engraver using Adobe Illustrator uh, 2023 or earlier. It's the same situation. So here's how you do this in a quick nutshell. You're going to go to Google and you're going to look up an, as, as an example, black cat silhouette. The key word here is silhouette. You want silhouette items. That way it keeps the image clean in the background, etc. Now, please note that these images are from different websites that you may be charged, you know, uh, or may offer a service fee, etc. And it is copyright infringement in regards to borrowing this. But if you're doing it for educational purposes or just for for a small little like background thing for your house or whatever, um, I believe that this should be okay. Uh, so the way you do that, you find an image that you like, you right click, and then you go to save image as. As you see, you save image as, you wanna make sure that it is a JPEG image itself. Uh, so that way it's saved there and you're gonna rename this to whatever you see fit. In my case, I renamed it Black Cat 2. And then you click save. Once you click save, your image will be there. If you want another alternative to find images, you can go to Pixabay and find royalty free images and do the same type of search for, uh, say for example, a bat. And we're following, uh, finding this, you click on free download and you can click on the download button here and then it will download to your desktop uh, as you see here. Now, once you have these two images down, what we are then gonna do, and you can, if you don't have Illustrator, you can go into Canva and Canva will do the same exact thing as Illustrator. And what we're going to do is minimize this. And here we are in Illustrator. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on new file. And once we have a new file, we want to make sure that we are in the proper documentation settings for inches. Inches is what we're looking for. So we select inches. Our paper stock size is 18 by 12. And it can vary depending on what you have. And it's in portrait mode. We want to make sure we're in RGB mode. It doesn't really matter if you're in LG, uh, in, um, C CMYK or RGB, doesn't matter as well and keeping make sure, making sure that you're you know 72 to 150 is fine keeping the file size uh small for the file and illustrator once that is created you are then going to be prompted with a um a picture or desktop canvas of your file here this is the 18 by 12 size and to confirm that what we like to do is we like to go to view we like to go to rulers and show rulers this shows us that we are starting up at zero all the way to 18 inches and from zero all the way to 12 inches. The quick command shortcut is control R and uh, to show and release that. If not, you just go to view rulers and hide rulers. That's how you can see that. Now, here's how it works. You're going to go to file. You're going to go to place. Once you place the image of say black cat two, you're going to grab the image. You're going to place it on your desktop, on your canvas right here. As you see here, notice this image is the black arrow tool where it is the direct selection tool where we are going, it makes a bounding box around this. You cannot just print like this. It has to have a pattern or an image to be vectorized for the laser to follow. So in order to do that, we have to trace the image. Now, with Adobe Illustrator 2023, it is at the top of your bar here where it says trace image. On older versions, it may be in the properties dialog box that's over here where it says vectorize or trace image as well down here. But the same settings are in both locations, it doesn't matter. You're going to go to image, you're going to go to silhouette because this is a silhouette. So you click on silhouette. Once you have silhouette selected, it will then analyze the image that you have. And then you'll be able to um, <clears throat> take that image and trace it and expand it. So now it has done its mathematical calculations and I'm going to hit expand. Once I hit expand, it gets rid of the box that we once were in. And as you can see, it makes a vectorized graphic um, of your cat image or whatever your, your pattern is here. And you can see it by clicking on these things. You can see all the little nodes and things that are here. If you want to, you can adjust it as you see fit to customize the shape to your desire. But now what matters most is that we take this silhouette image using the direct selection tool, which is this tool, the white arrow tool, and we inverse this. We want to swap and fill the, the colors of this. So we're going to swap this image here. So that way the background is um, the line stroke, if you will, of the path and the color, it doesn't matter because we don't care about that. We're just looking for the pattern of the stroke path here. Now, in our example, in order to do this path, you can see if I, if I make this uh, size three, it makes the line thicker. 
but when you're cutting out in the laser engraver, a uh, laser machine, you need to make it smaller. So it's 0 0.001. Once you make it 0 0.001 or uh, the color red, and if you're in Corral Draw, for example, it will now recognize that this is going to be a cut pattern for the laser uh, machine to follow the path and cut it out. So now that you have that, you are ready to go. So I'm going to zoom out here. And what I'm doing here is if you want, you can grab this, this image and, and place it as you see fit. If you want to make more than one copy of this, you can hold the Alt key down. And notice the arrows change to a double arrows, but you have to select it on the arrow path. Notice it won't do it here, but it will here. So you can hold Alt on your keyboard, and then you can drag a selection over. And now you can see that we have more than one item uh, here. And then you can, if you want to, you can select all these and do the same thing and then pattern them out as you see fit. So for this example, I'm just going to select this image right here, and we're going to laser etch this out. So the next step is to go File, and we're going to go Print. Now, when we go File, Print, we are going to go to our engraving machine. Make sure your machine is turned on and plugged into the network or your computer, and then you're going to select Epilogue Laser Engraver, for our example. Uh, right now, uh, it is in the wrong position. It is thinking that it's 44 inches off center. I'm going to make that 0 and 0 in the corner, which is what I like to do, and I'm going to hit Print. Now. Once this gets sent, it's going to go and open up the laser engraving software, as you can see here. And this is a live camera feed of our laser machine that is uh, the Epilog dashboard for our laser Fusion Edge uh, Pro series that we have here. So I'm going to turn the video off because I don't need to see that. I'm going to see that, hey, my image is not here. Where did it go? I'm going to go choose to fit. And what that does, it just says, where is my image located? So right now, if I click on my image, it's 84 inches off to the right of the, the desk space. So I don't want that. I'm going to bring back to zero and then hit enter. And then I'm going to do fit again. And notice you can see it is now over the side. So now I can take this image and I can drag this um, on my canvas. And you can see that this is where I would like to have it. Make sure you're not too close to the edge for this matter. And uh, just you know bring it in a little bit if you'd like to. And you can see that this is our editable a range. So we can also adjust our bounding box sizes. So this is 18 inches um, by, what is it, 12 we said. And you can see that we have, um, actually this should be this should be 12, and this will be 18 inches uh, in diameter. Um, so that way you can see that this is the exact canvas size of our, um, our canvas that's in Illustrator. So the big thing you want to look at is over here on the right hand side, you'll notice it says vector right there, vector. When it's a vector, that means it will cut out the outline. It'll follow the pattern of the cat and cut it out. If it says etching or engraving, it will do a different type of a thing. and It'll actually engrave the image that's on there. So we're going to adjust the power and settings adjusting to your material that you have inside. For this example, I'm going to give it a 15% power because we're going through very thin paper. Um, you know, uh, manila paper, nothing too strong, um, and that is it. Then once you hit send, well, give it a name first so you know what's yours. So you can say Aaron Black Cat, okay? So, and once I do that, I hit print, and it sends to the printer, and you should be all set. So that is how you take an image from Illustrator, from the Internet, onto Illustrator, Take the pattern lines and make sure that they're 0 .001, and then you can go File, Print, and once it prints, it loads to the Epilog laser machine. From the laser machine, you want to make sure that you're in vector. You can place the image here, scale to fit, and then you can print it and adjust your settings here uh, before you do hit print, and that's how you do this. So thank you for joining me. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I know it was quick. This is my like sixth time trying to re record this video based on... Uh, crashes and all sorts of other things that were going on with the computer and not finding certain things. But I hope this is useful for you. So have a great rest of your day.